This week, members of the Texas National Guard evacuated more than 400 residents in southeast Texas during the March floods affecting the Texas-Louisiana border. Soldiers with the 176th Engineer Brigade and the 72nd Infantry Brigade Combat Team transported the evacuees to Beaumont once floodwaters affected the original shelters in Orange, Jasper, and Newton counties. One evacuee explains what convinced her to take advantage of National Guard assistance. If I would have stayed, my grandson would have stayed in that immediate area, and I, I was putting my grandson in harm's way because the water was coming in, and uh, we would have been trapped. Members of the Texas State Guard assisted in relocating her and others impacted by the floods to shelters operated by the American Red Cross. We were forced with having to actually pick up, move everyone, including special needs guests, uh, bust those folks uh, together alongside with the Texas Army National Guard and the local fire departments, load up and move across to Beaumont to this shelter. As a supporting agency to emergency operations, one leader on the ground feels the National Guard plays a vital role in natural disaster response. Especially with tax, Texas Task Force One and the rescue swimmers that they have, uh, they pull their boats behind Suburbans. Uh, so those trucks can only go so far uh, with our military vehicles. They're able to get access to areas that they just wouldn't be able to. Citizen soldiers' presence was a relief to county officials as rising floodwaters exceeded local rescue capabilities. I mean, I came in one day and there was nothing, and the next day I couldn't imagine how much people were here in the, in the Army and, and all their group, and I, and I just got to tell you from the bottom of my heart, I, I appreciate everybody coming out and giving their support. When a hurricane, fire, or flood strikes a community, Texas Guardsmen stand ready to assist. In Southeast Texas, I'm Army Sergeant Mark Decker, 100th Mobile.